Hey guys, today we're going to be watching the highest rated episodes of South Park. Yeah, and um, if you guys want us to watch more South Park, <laughs> get this video to 10,000 yeah. likes. And check out our Patreon for the uncensored version of this video and also lots of extra content. And subscribe! Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jimmy! Yes, it is Jimmy! Wait, it's Jimmy Kimmel live show? I know what most of you are thinking. Hey, that guy stole my shoes. <laughs> <coughs> and how about this Michael Jackson guy, huh? I mean, come on. <laughs> wow, what a great audience. <laughs> wow, what a great audience. This is like those TikToks where they're like, you don't have to be offensive to have funny jokes. J just look at this hilarious performance. Christopher Reeve. Christopher Reeve. You know Christopher Reeve, the guy who played Superman? Well, thank you for telling me because I genuinely didn't know who Christopher Reeve I didn't know Reeve was. either. <laughs> Christopher Reeve. <laughs> I read an article about this guy recently. We're getting old, Milkers. Cor just said I read an article about this guy recently. <laughs> We're getting old. I read the New York Times. We're I opened the newspaper old. today. I put together a comedy show and I was crippled from birth. Are the crippled people beefing in this episode? Is this a crippled civil war? Hey, would you guys like to join our club? Oh, I'm sorry. You can't. You aren't crippled. <laughs> <laughs> that's base. That's base. Is Cartman going to get like super offended at this and like purposely cripple himself in this episode <laughs> or something? That would be pretty sick. You know what you call an able-bodied guy on the doorstep? Dude, they're being like <laughs> anti-ableist. Like, what do you even call that's this? That's so funny. Jimmy and I have made a t-shirt design for our new club. We just came up with a name this morning. The I think that's I think that's taken, Jimmy. I think the crips. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> Can you believe it, Timmy? All this time, there was a group for truly crippled people like ourselves. Are they, so, they going to join, join the, the Crips? crips? <laughs> They're joining the Crips. They're joining the Jimmy is joining the Crips. Holy shit. See, the stem cells from a fetus like this one. <laughs> oh, no, what? Fucking My awesome. fucking God. Bro, that shit looks what? like E.T. Can we even show that on YouTube? Just a drawn fetus ripped up. Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Ew, ew. I mean, like, let's be honest. We know the Clintons are doing this. Like, allegedly, we know the Clintons are doing this anyways. Timmy and I are both true Crips, born and raised. We're the only Crips in South Park where we live, and we would love to join your fa fa fantastic Denver chapter. It's genetic. <laughs> so can we join your group? All right. You want to thug with the five-point Crips? Bitches, all you got to do is pop some punk-ass bloods. Well, sure, Tim and I would love to pop some punk-ass blood. We're terrific at it. Jimmy just has such a good voice. Bro, we need we need a pimp my ride for wheelchair. That's literally a filthy Frank dude. That's literally a filthy Frank video. That's literally a filthy Frank video, dude. Did you notice that all the crippled people in that club are new? Did you colored person? Jimmy's racist. Ribs, ribs and gas. Oh shit! No! Oh my what the god! Fuck? Hey, okay. Wow, South Park animators trying to make their little cardboard cutouts draw is like the most hard thing to look at ever. <laughs> that was really funny looking. Alright, keep it real, little dog. You dogs keep it real too. Oh my god, they're doing Crips. <laughs> Bro, imagine getting dropped off at your house by by the fucking gang you just joined accidentally. This is like one of the episodes that's like clearly offensive, but it's like offensive in a way that isn't like overly edgy in the slightest, you know what I mean? Except for the part where he keeps <laughs> I like that you said that right before. The, he sucks okay, out never, of the I take spine it back. of I take a it, fetus. He just keeps doing that. Oh my god, he can It doesn't now. work he can like walk. that though. Yes, it does. You can't. Yes, it, where's it, the, he's the, a liar. He's paranoid. literally a fraud. Do you guys like the menu where it's just real pictures of shitty ass food? <laughs> yeah, like, it looks look so bad food. too. Yeah, ramen eight. Now go, just go. Gee, thanks a lot. See you next time. Damn it! They're running this city. Jimmy, those people you're hanging out with are no good. Yo, don't be dissing my niggas, dog. Bro, is that the? <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. He just dropped it. Stop eating the babies. Oh my god, he's getting crazy. What is did, wrong with this Did he guy? do this? You read about this, Gordon. Did he, was he eating babies? Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's canon. Holy guacamole. Holy guacamole. <laughs> Holy guacamole, dude. The Crips and Bloods hate each other, and if you stay in that gang, you're gonna end up dead too. But, but why do they hate each other? Look, kid, I used to be a Crip myself. <laughs> he used what? to be a Crip. Tom, several years ago, actor Christopher Reeve had a horrible accident and was paralyzed. The irony, of course, was that the man who played Superman could no longer walk. <laughs> Why did you have to point that out? That's so fucking rude. 
Oh my goodness, they're what? gonna settle it on what? the court. But nobody can leave until 7 a.m. So if you want to have a good time, you're all just gonna have to learn to get low. <laughs> Jimmy uh, <laughs> overestimated the situation here. There's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm sold. It's all it's all cool with the pizza until they realize that there's p a pineapple on them, and then they split it to two groups again, and then actually kill each other. I have chosen each member of this elite group of supervillains for their outstanding treachery. Their desire oh my! <laughs> it's Yo, it's was saying. We've just helped pass a ban on stem cell research. Your fetus sucking days are over. Seems like a net loss. That seems like a net. How about no sucking fetus? It like regulate it a bit. Oh, you're such a centrist. Oh, regulation. Oh, I don't know if I want to be on the left or the right. Pick a side, Jack. Pick a side. Pick a side. I want to eat the fetuses. Why don't we at least give it a chance? I mean, cub wood. What did you say? I said, I mean, cub wood. <laughs> He's got such a way with words. <laughs> Sure this shit is kind of fucking lit. I'm not even gonna <laughs> lie, dude. This is awesome. You haven't seen the last of me. Have He's in the Infinity Zone. Oh yeah, Quirk. literally. That's, your That's reference. literally what happens in Superman 2. I will be back. Dude, I am so glad we stayed out of that one. Yeah, they weren't even in the whole episode. No way. That literally was literally my favorite episode of the show, and the main characters were not in it. It's almost time when the time is here. These are my favorite characters. So this is South Park's like response to Happy Tree Friends. They're like, you think you can be edgier than us? No fucking way. Every animal, big or small, Christmas means so much to us all. Why was that just a genuinely nice song? That was not a genuine. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here, dog. It was beautiful. Oh no, I see a problem. What is it, Mousy? Our oh, Christmas no. tree doesn't have a star. I'm scared. I'm really. We watched the imagination. Yeah, episode, like we, so we already know, know where it's going. It's the nicest star I ever saw. I like that guy. He kind of reminds me of like a FNAF character. They're just FNAF characters if they also raped you. Isn't that what happens in Five Nights at Freddy's? Like, Freddy jumps on you, bro. <laughs> like, I don't know. Freddy's, Freddy's a, a little of, horny, okay? Freddy's a little. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. They followed him home. They followed him home. <laughs> oh my god, dude. This is when you turn on the light at the door in FNAF, dude. It's literally your right. You guys, I have to go to school tomorrow. Porcupiney is a virgin, Stanny. Her conception was immaculate. What? What? <laughs> what the fuck? It has been foretold unto me that I will give birth on Christmas Day. Animal Jesus. What Animal is this? I'm sorry, Jesus. what? What? There's a fucking panther? If he can build a major, he can stop that me old mountain lion. Stan, run. D Stan's like, how the fuck did I sign up for this shit? <laughs> Oh, oh! This animation is cr like li we thought. Lion King looked good. We thought like the Disney's Renaissance. Dude, YMS would f the shit out of that lion. I'm not gonna. Your movie sucks, bro. Your he thinks this this movie is he would suck on that lion, bro. <laughs> your movie sucks would be sucking on that lion. Mommy. He Mommy. just he just. K Stan killed their mom. Stan. Wake up, mommy! Wake up. <laughs> Did we watch the creepiest episode of the Like, look at these, like, nine-yard stairs coming from all these animals. Like, Lady Porcupine can give birth to the Antichrist. The Antichrist. No. Wait, wait, the Antichrist? You said she was giving birth to your savior. Yes, to the son of our lord, Satan, the prince of darkness. <laughs> you really think God would have sex with a porcupine? No way. Only Satan, prince of darkness, and king of all evil would do that. True, true, true. <laughs> true God would true. not fuck uh, a porcupine. Yeah, That's I solid logic that. there. Blood orgy? No! Run! No, run! No, Jesus no, Christ! No, Dude, it was 0-100! No, 0-100! No, no, Instantly! No, Instantly! What? I know, he said with a new happy grin. I'll go back to the forest and speak with those critters again. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's like <laughs> bickering with the monologue. Wait, this is like that one video game with the office and all that? It's the Stanley parable when you're when you're actually like talking with the narrator. Right, whatever. I'm taking down the manger I built. Oh no. Run, 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 run. Oh. The, oh, the God. No. Green screen okay. fire. No. Green screen no. fire. Crows. Yeah, better this than the slow death we'd face without a mother around. 
Jesus, those real children. <laughs> Why are those voices? They do sound like little children. There still has to be a way for you to kill the porcupine's baby. There still has to be a way for you to kill the porcupine's baby. What? You mean like in an abortion? <laughs> Why do the yeah. baby mountain lions know about abortion? Gather around my table, cute little lions. I'll teach you to do abortions without even trying. You know how like right wing media like makes it seem like there's a war on Christmas or whatever? This is what they think like they're trying to replace Christmas movies with. Christmas means so much to us all. Oh, okay. Oh my god! God. Oh. There's a fetus. <laughs> Why are both these episodes have to do with fetuses? What the hell? How come you're all alone on Christmas Eve? My family doesn't celebrate Christmas. Oh yeah, Kyle's Jewish. But does that mean you aren't baptized? No, I'm Jewish. That's the first time Kyle's ever told someone that he was Jewish and they cheered. <laughs> like he's probably so excited. God, we did it. The crater Antichrist is born, bringing a thousand years of darkness to the forest. Ah! That is so disgusting looking. There's only one way to stop devil worshiping critters. Oh, that was a lot simpler than what? I expected. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Hell yeah. No, I want to have the Antichrist inside me. With his power, I can finally make the Earth a better place for the Jews. This is so out of character. Oh, stop it, Carmen! Just stop Oh, there we go. That's enough. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Oh, well, now everything makes sense. Literally, everything instantly made sense. It was literally a Cartman that. story. It was a Cartman story. Oh, dear, my best friend is possessed. How about that? Said the little boy in the red poofball hat. Oh, my God, with the narrator, the entire episode was Cartman, dude. No way. I get killed by Santa Claus so that Christmas is saved. That's not at all what happens. Oh, come on. Let him read us the end. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, they need, they're so invested. That's when he came up with the best idea of all. The lion cubs. The little boy quickly begun. I took them to see how abortions are done. Oh, oh my god, they're no. gonna abort. Right the they're gonna abort the, the demon. What the fuck? Huh? They're aborting the devil outside of Kyle? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Please. Ah! Ah! And they all lived happily ever after. Except for Kyle, who died of AIDS two weeks later. <laughs> What? We've all seen them on the playground, at the store, walking on the streets. They creep us out and make us feel sick to our stomachs. I'm talking, of course, about ginger kids. He's just Ooh. doing. Why this dude? <laughs> what? That's a real ginger Stock child. Stock image. That I don't like. I don't like the fact that that's like a yeah. real child, though. Some people have red hair, but not light skin and freckles. These people are called daywalkers. Daywalkers. Oh my God, they're skinwalkers. It's not a presentation. It's a hate speech. People aren't creeped out by gingers. I am. Why is he offended? <laughs> we came to learn the facts about people with red hair, light skin, and freckles. Oh, gingers, yes. Our cute little red-haired rascals. <laughs> Wait, do they dye their children's hair red or something? Yes, we've learned that the ginger gene is recessive in both our family's DNA. Yeah, but then why would you get it three times? Uh, 0. 0.25 times 0. 0.25 times 0. 0.25. Did you just factor in the, the percentage, Eden? Are you fucking... That was the most nerdy shit ever. <laughs> There's only a 1.6% chance... 0. 0.25, 0. 0. 0. 0. Um, I answered your question, Ginger There's parents. There's only a 1.6% chance of it fucking happening, nerd. and it literally happened. Fucking nerd. You really don't want to have ginger kids. Marry an Asian woman. Asians don't carry the recessive gene. What is going... Why does he hate his children so much? I don't understand. They're giving eugenics tips right now. A child's red hair is not determined by the lack of a soul. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, shut <laughs> your bitch ass up, Carmen. Right this way. You can't eat in the cafeteria. Oh my god. The hate crime. The what hate crime in the gingers. Fuck. Yeah, go on, beat it. Oh. <laughs> no. Get him. Jimmy. Get him, bro. Jimmy. Get him. Holy shit. I wish Carmen could see what it felt like to be Ginger. Hey, that's a great idea. What the good idea? That was like the first time where I didn't need the subtitles to understand what Kenny said. Why is he sleep? He's sleeping like a Family Guy death. Family Guy death pose sleeping position is actually really good for your back core. I feel like this is like one of the few times where like he's like not even doing something that bad and, and like relative to like the shit that he normally does. And the other three are actually working together to stop him. Help me! Help me! They went to the, the hospital! Well, the red-haired and freckled gene is a recessive gene. It must have stayed dormant in your system until you hit adolescence. I'm sorry, what? Do this is the worst this doctor ever, bro. This doctor is not spitting facts. 
You might want to just put him down. Put him down. Excuse me, doctor, but it just so happens my mom loves me, no matter what I look like. Right, mom? <sighs> About that, Cartman. Uh... <laughs> Is that an umbrella you're using? Yes, Cam. <clears throat> The sun's rays are bad for my skin, so I need to be protected when I'm outside. Oh, he's such a p you know. <laughs> you put on your hat. Why doesn't he have his hat on anymore? I'm grabbing. What's it look like? You're not supposed to be in the cafeteria. Huh? You know the rule. No ginger kids in the cafeteria. <laughs> Dude, it's <laughs> They so say it so casually. What the fuck? It's so fucked up. The world needs to know that we are people with feelings, and our parents love us for who we are. My dad says each one of my freckles is a kiss from an angel. Ew, the oh. lips. Why did they give him lips there? Red power. Oh my god. How how does he always make it racist though? Like you didn't have to make it racist. And if there's one thing I've learned, it's that the only way to fight hate is with more hate. We are not the freaks of society. Everyone else is. Yeah. yeah. I envision a world in which there is no hate. A world where everyone is ginger. And so, we must gather together every child who is not ginger and exterminate them. This is the problem, is that people with charisma and like confidence can just like talk in a confident way and, ha and like and convince people without that confidence, man. It's bad. And that's why we need to round up everyone who's not watching Spilling the Milk and instead watching True. Insert True. Other Reaction Channel's name here and force them to watch our channel or they Damn die. Damn fucking right. When he wakes up tomorrow and realizes he isn't really ginger, it'll be hysterical. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> They just love fucking with Carmen this episode. That's fun. Oh my god. Let's just walk this way. Oh my god, they're gonna get jumped. The hell do they want? <laughs> they got Kenny. They got Kenny. They always get Kenny, bro. They literally always get Kenny. Come on, get this jam on the door. Oh All my right. god. Can we get to the point already? It's the gingers. Okay, fine, let him speak. Then we kill every non-ginger here. You, you what? This is a problem, Carmen. You created a cult and you're not even like a part of the cult. Like you don't even- I mean, that's like every cult. The cult leader never actually believes it. We shouldn't be doing this. I mean, look at us. What have we become? God, he's such a bad person. How do you he's, know? You don't know what Kyle told him. Kyle could have told him, knock it off, dude. Come on. And then he had the change of heart. So that's no, my yeah, head Yeah, Kyle in. said, come on, man. What did that kid in the green hat tell you? Huh? That kid right there, what did he just tell you? Dude, why are the gingers so smart? I feel like normally whenever he leads anyone in this episode, they're just super stupid and oh, all of a sudden they're just like picking up on everything now. You wanted to kill everyone who wasn't ginger, then that kid in the green hat told you something and now you don't want to do it all of a sudden. What did he tell you? Are they gonna like dump water on him and then find out that like he doesn't have red hair or something? Are they gonna get the Wendy's girl to come in and stab him to death? Like what's There's gonna happen? There's another famous ginger. Brown or red, we shouldn't kill each other cause it's lame. Come on guys, hand in hand we live together. <laughs> It's what? such a garbage song. What? How is this working right now? How? They were so so. No they're instantly letting way. them out. They're like, they resolved that really quickly. Yo, guys, if you guys want us to watch more South Park to get this video to 10,000 likes, and please, please, please join our Patreon to watch the uncensored version of this video. Resident Don, Christian Jack, Xander, Ricardo, James, Pepper, Dane, Luke, Quaking, Simon, Oren, Gabriel, Jordan, Jasmine, Christian, Ludwig, TJ, Tristan, Sam, True, Armored, Tyson, Lone, Sully, Netlet, Force, Tech, Gluten Free, Minky, Mario, Kia, L, Case, Tech, Dan, Quinn, Call Out, Reverted, Bam, Alexis, Corgi, Roshana, Fat Pup, Black Knight, Dentepic, Angel, Bunny, PB and J, Carter, Helmboy. One, two, five, Autumn, Matthew, Rocket, Elizabeth, Ace, Mythical, Doggo, Yobthog, Daniel, Sam, Tatone, Ryan, Kamui, Caitlin, Blank, K99, SS, Tia, Seller, Atomic, King Red, Alfredo, Crescido, Mark, Matthew, Marquizel, Daniel, Deadman, Argafargadar, Jake, Trippy, R the Mercy, Ava, Damali, Whitivers, Mr. Delta, Crescent, Blackman, Bubs, Kato, Heather.